Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today I'm joined by Colin Bird, who is Executive Chairman at Besant Resources. How are you today, Colin? I'm good, thank you. You, Zach? I'm doing well. Uh, you have uh, several. You've had several announcements from your various companies, so it obviously shows that uh, these are busy times for you. But what's uh, what's the current situation at Besant? That's right. We've 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 hit the new year running, and um, I think our shareholders were very patiently waiting for this result. There was a big there was a big question mark. Um, just couldn't be answered without drilling. That question mark was why on earth is is as oak, oak got um, gold in association with copper, and Garba hasn't. And um, obviously that um, that raised the question: is is oak a fluke? And uh, the more we got into the archives, the more we see: well, the reason Garba hasn't got um, only minor, very occasional um, gold because they generally they didn't test the gold with the angle angle and JCI. So we said to our shareholders that we would drill to test really whether or not we've got a, a gold copper environment. And you will see from the results that um, the gold is not only present, but it's significant, which again revalues the old deal, um, brings gold into the equation at Gorob, and makes out 130 kilometers of um, potential strike, and you can't use the word strike, potential strike, um, very live. And so... What we're going to do, we've said that we're going to use any helicopter, airborne helicopters again. We're going to go and um, we're going to fly this. Um, we're going to fly it quickly. You know, in the old days, the old days about three years ago, um, you would go where the old miners went and use that as your start point in, in testing the, the 130 kilometers. But you know that that's so speculative, so risky. We're actually going to fly it. Very encouraged very encouraged by the fact that we've got the gold again. So we're in truly in a gold, copper environment. Right. And also I announced in that um, um, RNS that we, we're not going to fly the, um, the manganese, it's, you know, in case of it nearly crops on surface. And we've got some borrow pit and we've got some um, former road cutting extensions where we can actually see the stuff. So we're going where we think the best material is, and which should be battery grade, and uh, we're also going to um, climb into this um, into this manganese in Botswana, in uh, southern Botswana. You know, I think I, you know, I've never been one for dancing around projects and saying how highly encouraged that for two or three years. So the the Bazant model is certainly get in there and find out. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do, Zach, and that's what we've done, of course. Right, and just uh, was just trying to ask you a second ago, uh, a potential uh, 130 kilometer strike, uh, that sounds like quite a lot for, if you're not a mining expert, uh, that does sound like uh, uh, quite a potential, quite a significant uh, uh, potential uh, situation. Is is that right? Yeah, well, I'm surprised, you know, this was over by Anglo and JCI, and um, they didn't do anything with it in terms of um, flying and testing. So really, there's a massive gap between major mining companies old and it, and um, kind of artisanal working 40 or 50 years before. Um, and then you had Anglo and JCI who essentially um, drilled out plows and thoroughbouts, and as I say, didn't test the gold in the case of Gorob, and then realized that 130 kilometers not touched. So I don't know whether there's near surface material I don't know whether there's a big strike of continuity which could lead to something, you know, as a, as a serious mine. All I know is that uh, it's part of that max is felt and um, it has all the prospectivity of, of open Europe. So, again, very excited to have it. And we're not going to shortchange it because like, there's no point in trying to do 130 kilometers with brecky holes there or, or ground geophysics. You are, this is one of those things you do properly, you don't do it all, and we're going to do it properly, so. OK, well, on that note, uh, Colin Bird, Executive Chairman at Besant Resources, thank you very much indeed. No, thank you for your time again. It's, 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 it's always good Zach, to, to actually talk about these announcements because um, it makes it very difficult for the reader um, to, really, you know, to really get what's happening. So hopefully um, it, 
crystal clear and, and on points and focuses what the company is trying to do. Thank you very much indeed. So, so thank you. Thank you, Zang. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.